Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to first say thank you all for being here uh, and welcome the mayor, residents of War 5, uh, and all of our of all of our the DPW staff here today uh, to our transfer station. This is a wonderful opportunity for us uh, to receive uh, 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 the, the city's attention around what we do in the spring. And I want to first thank the mayor uh, for bringing uh, bringing uh, attention to DPW and certainly the services we provide uh, uh, as we as we exit the winter and enter the spring. So uh, thank you, Mayor, for making Earth Day Earth Week uh, here in the District of Columbia. And without uh, further ado, I want to um, welcome the mayor. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you for being here. And thank you for your patience. Uh, I wanted to be here. We're spring cleaning this week. Uh, and no better place to start uh, than at the Department of Public Works. Give them a big round of applause. I want to uh, acknowledge and thank the director, Chris Shorter, and the great team at DPW um, for all that they do for us each and every day. Uh, and we're here today at the Fort Totten uh, Transfer Station. I'm going to say a little bit about what happens here at Fort Totten. Uh, let me also recognize that we've been joined uh, by Mark Bouchani. I always get this wrong, so forgive me. Mark Bouchani from uh, Casey Trees and also um, Amalara from KC Trees and uh, a lot of staff from KC Trees. Let's hear it for KC Trees. <laughs> Partners with us certainly and a lot that we're doing to keep DC beautiful and the air clean. Uh, and also Fred Jackson is here. Where's Fred? There is Fred. Give him a big round of applause. And Ursula Higgins, where's Ursula, the chairwoman from um, 5B. Uh, Ms. Grace Lewis from the North Michigan Park Civic Association. Joseph Bowser from the North Michigan Park Civic Association. Our zoning chairman uh, from the Woodridge Civic Association, right? Uh, and so for all of the, the Ward 5 uh, residents who are here, we want to thank you for coming out to support this event. Uh, so. Let me talk about a little bit about what happens here at Fort Totten at the transfer station. Sometimes people are wondering what they do as they're going through cleaning out sheds and garages and cleaning up their backyards. Um, everybody should be doing that, right? Cleaning up their backyards and m making sure everything is free of weeds and debris and that we're beautifying Washington. So today uh, we want to talk about what to do with old junk and toxins. So uh, how do you get get rid of these things? So these days oh, we all go or going through new phones. We're getting rid of what I've already talked about and gadgets each and every year, big screen TVs. Uh, and there is a place for all of those things to go. Um, and they, they, they can come here. Uh, if you have uh, toxic materials, bigger old metal pieces of junk, uh, and you don't know what to do with them, uh, we're open here at DPW at Fort Totten on Saturdays. 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. where you can deliver, if you're a D.C. resident, in a DC vehicle, uh, you can deliver your junk uh, to us. And we want your junk. Let's hear it for we want your junk. And that's every Saturday, right? Every Saturday. Every, you're doing the toxic materials every Saturday too? Yes. That's, is that new? Yes. Good. So that's new. Where We've added. It used to be once a month. Um, and so every Saturday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., D.C. residents can come to the Fort Totten Transfer Station uh, to deliver that junk. Um, and so we know it's also tempting uh, to put some of that in your recycling container, but we ask you not to do that because that's not what it's for. And we also don't want you to become a victim of identity theft. Um, and so we also, on, uh, on Saturdays, that, is that one Saturday a month, the shredding? Yes, one Saturday. The first Saturday of every month, right? Uh, you may bring your, uh, your confidential documents uh, to be shredded. Again, D.C. residents, come join us at Fort Totten on the first Saturdays of every month um, for shredding. And then there's free compost. Where's the compost? Good. It's, oh. That's fantastic. And so if you want your flowers and your trees 
to grow well in your yard, you better take care of the soil. So we just ask that you come to Fort Totten with your own bag. Um, and DPW will also deliver up to 12 cubic feet of composting material to your neighborhood. Um, and so we have a number of gardeners here uh, that can collect on those composting uh, materials as well. So we ask that everybody do their part. Uh, DPW needs your help to keep the district clean. And that's why we have more more than 6,900 litter cans placed along our major streets all across the district. These cans are for pedestrians so that it doesn't end up in our roadways. And uh, we know who these cans are not for. These cans are not for businesses to deliver their trash in the street cans. They're not for residents to come out of their apartment buildings and deliver the trash to the street cans. They're not for people to come out of their houses to deliver. Um, you, and you see it, all the DPW people know what I'm talking about. You'll see a kitchen bag in the street can. And so what happens when people put their kitchen bags in the street can, there's no space in the cans for the people who are walking down the street and they'll end up full. And sometimes, and I keep an eye on this, the director knows that I'll look at the street cans and they, if, if everybody's putting their kitchen bags, they're these big tall white bags in the, the cans, by early, the early part of the day, those trash cans are full. So in addition to people not having any space to put trash, you have a very untidy looking city with all of these filled up cans. And so we want to keep DC beautiful and clean. Um, and so we're going to stay, uh, we're not going to allow anybody to put their residential trash in the street cans. And we're going to make sure that you have a place at your residence, uh, your apartment building uh, for, for there to be uh, the proper disposal of trash. DPW is also focused on the removal of graffiti um, and uh, clearing residential streets with mechanical sweepers um, and mowing grass along our roadways. In the fall and winter, they also collect leaves and holiday trees. Uh, in the winter, DPW is part of the team that clears ice and snow. Uh, and year round, they collect litter from our recycling cans. So we want to thank our DPW team for all that they're doing to keep Washington, D.C beautiful. I know we're going to be planting some trees. Uh, we're going to be doing some cleanups all over the city. Uh, and we're going to ask everybody to take part in the, the spring cleaning activities that we're working on. So with that, thank you everybody for being here. folks in the neighborhood. She's doing enough. She's doing enough. Thank you, Mayor. Got it. Yeah. Okay? That's good. Yeah. Let me see what you got, crazy trees. All right. All right. All right.